Good afternoon. Welcome and thank you for joining um, our quick little um, special grant presentation this afternoon, how to write a grant and get funded. Um, we're going to specifically talk about um, two grant programs available to Nebraska schools. Um, really quickly before we jump into this quick grant workshop, um, a little bit of housekeeping is in order. Okay, um, so for those of you who um, are not familiar with this format, um, everyone is currently muted. Um, but if you do have a question as we progress through the presentation, um, there is a questions uh, box in your, on your, uh, your little dashboard to the right hand of your screen, and you can type in a question, and I will reserve some time at the end um, to go through those. This call is being recorded, um, so um, for those of you that were unable to attend this live broadcast, uh, a link will be sent um, with the recording and some handouts um, so you can um, keep informed on these grant programs here in Nebraska. My name is Ashley Carroll. I am the Special Projects Coordinator here in Nebraska. And uh, this is our agenda for this afternoon. We're going to uh, review the available grant programs in Nebraska. I'm going to go through the grant application process on the um, Action for Healthy Kids School Grants Portal, um, help you generate some project ideas uh, for each of the different project uh, programs, and also um, link you up with some resources from Action for Healthy Kids, and then, as I mentioned, um, leave a little bit of time for questions and answers. So to begin, um, we have we are very excited. Um, this is the first year that we are offering these two exclusive grant programs just here in Nebraska. Um, thanks to the generous support of the Aetna Foundation, we are able to award 10 schools um, with breakfast funding to support their alternative breakfast programs. And then thanks to uh, generous support from Children's Hospital and Medical Center, we are able to offer 10 schools in the Omaha and surrounding area um, Game On grants. Now I'm gonna go into a little more detail about each of these grants in a moment, but just so you are um, aware and to make it a little bit easier, uh, the Game On grants, are $1,000, and then the awards for a school breakfast are $1,500 per school. Um, and with those school breakfast grants, you are able to submit a district application, which is a really nice feature um, if you have more than one school that qualifies. For the Game On grants, the emphasis is on uh, both physical activity and nutrition um, in a school-based program. And then for our school breakfast grants for healthy kids, it's all about alternative breakfast and or universal breakfast. And I will explain that in just a minute. Um, we also want to mention that these grants, we are funding schools and school-based um, organizations. So PTO, PTA, school health teams, but unfortunately we cannot fund uh, community-based organizations or other nonprofits because we want to work directly with schools on creating sustainable changes in their environment. And what better way than to work with those most directly involved? OK, mentioned that, our two programs. Let's dive in a little bit with School Breakfast for Healthy Nebraska Kids. Um, in order to be eligible for this grant program, your school needs to have at least 40% of students um, eligible for free and reduced lunch or alternatively um, have implemented or be eligible um, for community eligibility provision. Uh, the grant award is $1,500 to pilot or expand a universal free breakfast program or an alternative breakfast program or both. So a universal free breakfast program means that you are providing free breakfast to all students regardless of um, free, reduced, or full pay status. Um, and then alternative breakfast, are the, it refers to your breakfast delivery model. So breakfast in the classroom, grab-and-go breakfast, 
second chance breakfast, which is offered, you know, sometime after like first period, for example, in a high school. Um, or you could um, combine both of those. So you could be providing universal free breakfast to all students, say you've just adopted the community eligibility provision because you have a high need school, and you're, al and you're providing an alternative breakfast delivery model such as grab and go breakfast. So those are the, the schools that, that qualify for school breakfast for healthy Nebraska kids. Um, and we are trying to achieve uh, an increase in student breakfast participation of 20% um, with the use of this fund. Um, as a, a grant requirement is that your school must participate in every Kid Healthy Week, which is held in April. Um, and I'll go through that a little bit towards the end here. Um, but oftentimes it is um, something you're already doing an end of year celebration and that's just really what um, every Kid Healthy Week is all about. It's just kind of celebrating um, your collaborative work over the year um, to increase um, healthy behaviors and in inviting um, families to come and to share in the fun, to learn about the importance of healthy eating and uh, physical activity as healthy lifestyle habits so that those will continue in and out of school. And then also your school will need to complete um, our abbreviated version of the CDC's School Health Index, which is a great assessment tool for you to um, help identify some opportunities and challenges in your school environment. So as I mentioned, um, schools that should apply, and it's open to all Nebraska schools that met the, those eligibility requirements, 40% or greater free and reduced, currently offering universal or free breakfast, and are going to add an alternative breakfast delivery format. Um, or you are um, currently offering universal free breakfast or you are going to start. But alternative breakfast is, is key. With the game on grants, this is very exciting and new to the Omaha area. Um, all schools in Cass, Douglas, Sarpy, Saunders, and Washington County are um, and regardless of free and reduced eligibility um, or student identified population. So virtually all schools in the Omaha metro area are eligible to apply, um, but what you want to emphasize in your application physical activity and nutrition um, in a school-based school way. And I'm going to pause just for a moment because it looks like we might be having some technology issues. One moment, please. Okay, I apologize for that issue. Hopefully you all can hear me and perhaps hear me a little bit better now. Okay, so Game on Grants, open to Omaha area schools. So that's Cass, Douglas, R.B. Saunders, and Washington. Uh, regardless of your free and reduced um, student population percentage, um, but really emphasizing physical activity and nutrition. Um, and I'm going to go through and give you some project ideas here in a moment. Um, but keep in mind that school-based um, means before, during, and after school. So um, this could apply if you have some, uh, want to include like a before and after school uh, walking club or something like that, that would certainly um, satisfy the grant. Okay, so what we are really trying to impact here um, is an increase in physical activity minutes per day at school. But again, as I said, that's school-based. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be cutting into um, curriculum time. Actually, what we are talking about is you could um, infuse some purposeful movement into the classroom through the use of brain breaks. And that could be, um, you know, maybe say five to ten minutes a day. You could also be incorporating that walking club um, or offering um, some intramurals before or after school or just, um, you know, incorporating um, active recess. Um, so, so that can be uh, accomplished in a number of ways. 
we want ultimately to advance the school nutrition environment by providing easy access to healthy foods, right? Making the healthy choice the easy choice. Um, and we want to make sure that we're bringing in students and parents um, so that they can um, be supportive and create healthful environments um, at home as well. So, so game on grantees will also um, be required to participate in our Every Kid Healthy Week in April um, to accomplish just that goal of, of inviting uh, parents to, to come and see what, what their children are learning and to help promote and encourage those healthy habits. Steps for applying. Um, I would suggest when you go onto the Action for Healthy Kids website, when you go to the home page, you click on Tools for Schools, and then you will, on the right-hand side, you'll click Apply for Grants. And I would highly encourage you to download the paper application, print it off, and complete it first um, before you um, submit it online through our school grants portal. It'll just save you a lot of time um, since you won't have to run back and forth because um, there will be a couple of different information pieces that you might have to ask um, someone at your school or at your district about. Paper applications won't be accepted. However, if you have some questions or are having difficulty submitting your application online, you can certainly um, send it to me, Ashley Carroll, and you'll see my um, email and you'll get my contact information in the follow-up to this webinar. And you can send me a paper, paper application and I can help you get it submitted online. Okay, so now we're going to go through steps in submitting the application through the online grant portal. Um, so you went to Action for Healthy Kids website, you click Tools for Schools, then Apply for Grants on the right hand side. Then once you click on the Grant Portal link, it will take you to this registration page. Um, you will either need to register or log in with a username and password. If you've applied for a grant in the past, uh, our system has reset since last year and so you will still need to create a username and password so likely um, most people will need to create a new username and password so once you've registered you'll see this home page this is like your dashboard um, and where you will complete your personal profile you will link to your school and you will um, look for available grants submit an application and this is also where you will go back into um, for if you if your school receives a grant award um, for doing the reporting pieces so that the school health index is in here as well so it makes it really handy um, it's kind of like your one-stop shop for this grant so once you're in here you need to affiliate yourself with your school by plugging in your zip code and input your personal information so we know how to contact you and then you'll see a screen with the available grants um, for for the school breakfast for healthy kids it will actually say Nebraska has a this their own tab so you'll you'll click Nebraska um, school breakfast for healthy kids and then you have an option here that it's displaying where you can complete a single school's application or you can complete an application from multiple schools and how you would do that is um, me many of the questions will be the same um, for schools if you are um, you know considering like a district rollout of uh, grab and go breakfast so you can auto populate a lot of the same information for each of the different schools but then you will still need to go in and put in some individual information such as um, average daily breakfast participation at each of the individual schools you know student enrollment size etc for the um, game on grant it also has its own special tab um, and you unfortunately cannot complete a district level grant application. You'll, if you are applying for uh, multiple schools within your district for Game on Omaha, you will need to complete each single application. And I can help you with that as well, so please reach out to me if that's your intention and, and you need help. And then you'll see um, on your dashboard, 
your progress in completing your application and if you've completed more than one uh, you'll see it on here all the different grants that you have um, initiated or completed so a few tips as I mentioned complete that paper application first there are some character counts um, for many of the questions that are uh, short essay format um, not to be confused with word count it's actual character count so punctuation is included in that as well so um, it just it helps to because you if you put it into word then you can um, look at the character counts before you submit it online and have to needlessly um, edit and takes more time. Um, then you go to the school grants page, as I mentioned, hit apply now on the grant um, that you're interested in. Affiliate yourself with your school using the My School tab. One thing that has been noted is um, that Chrome and, and Firefox are um, the most compatible um, with our technology. Also saving it often just in case you get um, kicked out for some reason through a technology glitch. Um, you move through the application by clicking on progressive tabs. Complete all of the required responses before submitting or you're going to keep getting error messages. Um, as I mentioned, if you're applying for multiple schools, you can use the multiple school um, application at the start for the school breakfast grants. And um, the typical information that you're going to need to um, assemble, and this will be on that paper application, uh, is like principal name and email, average daily participation for lunch and breakfast. Um, you'll need to have a, an idea of how you'll spend um, your grant funds, so a completed budget, um, and your uh, free and reduced percentages. Okay. As I mentioned, um, a requirement of each of the grants is participation in Every Kid Healthy Week. Um, this is actually recognized on the um, National Health Observances calendar. It's celebrated the fourth week in April. And Every Kid Healthy Week really celebrates um, all every person's um, individual and collective contributions to creating healthier school environments for children so that they can learn and grow. Um, and so it, they should really be um, a celebration that um, recognizes all the contributions of your teachers and your staff and your students and your family because we know that it does take a village um, to raise a healthy child. And oftentimes, um, schools are already doing a field day at the end of the year or a health fair. And so this can just kind of be incorporated into what you're already doing. Um, but we will um, send awarded schools some promotional materials like the banner you see in that image um, so that you can um, incorporate a healthful message into your day's activities and maybe even uh, you know, build on what you already have. Um, I've seen some excellent health fairs at schools where they invited dentists and dietitians, and they were taking blood pressure screenings and they had um, healthy foods and, and uh, physical activity. There was free throw contests and fun runs and uh, Zumba that parents and, and kids could do together. So uh, the only limitation is your, is your own imagination there. All right, so thinking through um, some specific examples for your breakfast grant, um, really make sure that you are clearly describing what your current, what your school is currently doing and what you hope to do. So you may not be doing breakfast in the classroom currently, but if this grant, uh, if you're awarded this grant, then that is your ten intention, please mention that. Um, also highlight if you are offering um, your breakfast free to all students, make sure you mention that. Um, and, you know, write it with the intention that, uh, or with the perspective that um, we know nothing about what you'd like to do and what your school looks like because we probably don't. Um, so typical funding requests are um, wireless point of sale system components, um, iPads, tablets, Kiosks, insulated bags, the rolling trash cans are great uh, for breakfast in the classroom. 
with heavy duty liners, um, classroom cleanup materials. Oftentimes, um, breakfast in the classroom is not um, the scary mess that, that some people anticipate, but it's great to be proactive and to be able to, um, you know, to address those concerns by providing classrooms with, um, you know, little, little handheld vacuum cleaners or just a, a bucket of cleaning supplies, that kind of thing. Um, you can also apply for promotional materials. So maybe you started an alternative breakfast program uh, the year before, but you know that you really haven't um, reached the ceiling of, of how many students you could be feeding if you made it, um, if you created some incentives or made it really exciting and fun. So you could um, request some funding for hosting some taste tests, uh, maybe to get some student input on what they'd like to see on that breakfast menu. Um, hosting a breakfast challenge between grades can be a great incentive. People, people are uh, generally very competitive, um, and they often like prizes that don't are not um, don't cost anything at all. Like uh, free recess in the elementary schools is usually a very popular. Um, incentive. You could also apply for uh, menu boards and other signage to uh, market and promote your breakfast program and make sure that parents are aware that that's a service and um, when and, and how they can take advantage. For game on, um, as we said, the intention is to increase school-based physical activity um, and healthy eating. So these are some Move More um, initiatives that you can find if you go to our website um, and then click on, uh, again, under Tools for Schools, and then click on Game On. They have all kinds of um, project ideas. I'm not going to read through all these, uh, but do note that um, it can be things like brain breaks in the classroom and before and after school programming. So it does not all need to fall within the school day. Some eat better uh, nutrition initiatives would be um, nutrition education curriculum, school gardens, um, salad bars, smarter lunchroom um, would be like improvements to the ambiance in your um, cafeteria um, or in your classrooms to make it a, a more fun and exciting um, environment conducive to um, children wanting to, to try those healthy foods. And there's a few other ideas that you can read through again and find on our website under Game On. I just want to mention that um, keep in mind um, SMART goals when you are writing your application. Um, a SMART goal is specific, um, so it defines who, what, when, where, why, and how much. Uh, it's measurable. It is attainable or achievable. Um, it's relevant, the things that you are doing are, are going to um, contribute to, to, the, to the final ends. Um, and it's time sensitive or, or um, timely, so you have a, a specific deadline of when you'll complete it. Here um, are some selected um, outcomes that um, kind of embody that, that SMART goal um, outline. By December 2016, breakfast participation will increase by 10%, and then having some, um, ben that is just one benchmark, and then uh, by the end of the school year, it will increase by 20%, um, and you can go on and read through that list as well. Some examples for evaluation would be tracking the number of students participating in your activities, tracking changes in student behavior such as attendance, uh, referrals to the principal um, for behavior issues in the classroom that are disruptive, um, visits to the school nurse so maybe um, children are not coming to the classroom as hungry because they are getting um, breakfast on their way into school and now they can um, concentrate better on their uh, instruction. Um, so read through those and really think about how you measure um, your success in this program. Don't forget to mention uh, sustainability, how you will sustain this program beyond the grant term. Um, realist be realistic about your budget. Um, you will get 
65% on the front end, which would be the end of October, and another, um, the, the remaining 35% in the spring. Um, you can also, um, part of your project could include more um, or could cost more than um, what you're asking for, but then you need to um, include how you're going to make up those additional funds. So is it going to be through a corporate match or through another grant? So just put that so that we know that your project will actually um, happen. But um, as mentioned here, the portal can't accept um, a funding request over the grant amount. So you will just still mention you know, that you're requesting $1,500 for your school breakfast program. And then um, you can, there's an essay questions and you can explain how you'll um, make up the rest. Do not write your grants for food. The only caveat with that is that you can include a portion of your budget for taste tests. Um, they can also, the funding cannot be used for staffing. As I mentioned, the funds will be dispersed in two payments. 65% of it will come in the end of October. The other um, remaining 35% will be after your midterm in January. Here are your key deadlines. So both grant applications are due at the end of, um, end of the business day on uh, next Friday, September 16th. Awarded schools will be notified October 1st. And then um, those awarded schools will need to complete um, their terms and conditions and their school health index um, by October 22nd. And um, your midterm in December, your Every Kid Healthy Week event survey, so just telling us um, what you plan to do for Every Kid Healthy Week um, on April 7th. And then your final report will be due May 26th. Don't fear, you're never alone. We have all kinds of content-specific webinars. We have our monthly newsletters. Um, you have staff like myself who can um, answer questions, um, set up a conference call, uh, even do um, you know, a Skype or another, uh, another webinar if you need some technical assistance. So we're here to help you and um, support all these great projects that you are trying to implement in your school. I do want to leave just a moment for questions. I don't see any questions in the uh, question box. So if you do have a question, please um, type it in there right now. But hopefully um, I have kind of clarified our two different grant programs and answered any questions that you had going in. Um, I'd like for you to walk away with today um, to make sure that you've created an, an account on the Action for Healthy Kids school grant portal, um, make sure you Clearly understand which grant you want to apply for, or both, if you are eligible. Um, assemble a, a team to help you implement, and um, get to work on your paper application, because you have one week from today to submit. That being said, um, and I don't see any questions, we are at the 2.30 mark. So I want to thank you all for joining today, and good luck on submitting your grant application. I look forward to uh, reviewing them and uh, welcome any questions or comments in the follow-up. Thank you all, and have a great day.